Hi and welcome. In this video you're going to learn how to add information to the metadata panel and create a metadata template to add this information to your images. Well let's start with having a look at exactly what is metadata. Well metadata it's a set of standardized information about a file. Now some of this information you can add such as your name, address, postcode, email address and telephone number. You can do it from your computer and it's embedded right into the image. When you take the photo, a lot of data from about the file um, is loaded straight from the camera and again embedded right into the image. And this is information such as f-stop, shutter speed, ISO, white balance and your camera serial number. There's a load more, but those are the main ones. Now where possible this metadata is stored or embedded within the image itself. However there are times when it's not possible to store it inside the file, such as with a raw file. Now in this case the metadata is stored in a separate file called a sidecar or an XMP file, which is attached to the original one. Now this allows the exchange of metadata between Adobe applications and basically it's a text file. And so anything that, that, you, um, that you put in, any metadata like your keywords, they go on to this XMP file. Any adjustments you make to your image, they go into the XMP file. Now it's important that they stay together because they are related. And of course if you lose this, then you've lost all the edits and all the information, all the keywords and everything. So it's important that they stay together. And these are padlocked together so that technically they should not be able to get separated, so they'll always be together. Now the good thing about this is that all this metadata, you can export it and then import it into the likes of Lightroom and the other way around, so that basically you can have all the applications fully synchronized, which is pretty cool. Right, let's have a look at working with metadata in Adobe Bridge. Now many of the powerful Adobe Bridge features that allow you to organize, search and keep track of your files and versions depends on XMP metadata in your files. Now Adobe Bridge provides two ways of working with metadata through the metadata panel and the file info dialog box. Now the metadata panel is here. Now it says no files are selected and it's empty because of exactly that. So if I go and click on a file, here we go the metadata panel becomes live. Now the other place, if we go up to the file menu and down to file info, here we get the file info dialog box and here we've got lots of things we can do with the metadata as well. Okay, we'll just cancel that and we'll have a look at the metadata panel first. In the metadata panel, you can view and edit the metadata for selected files. Uh, you can use the metadata to search for files and use templates to append and replace metadata. Now you can see the metadata panel has a placard at the top using some common icons for digital camera commands and functions. So here we've got the f-stop and the shutter speed and the ISO and we've got some stuff on file size and resolution. It's just to give you a quick nosegay of really what conditions were when you took the picture. Now under the placard, the metadata is organized into groups. And here we can see we've got the file properties, IPTC core, IPTC extension, camera data, GPS, camera raw audio and video. And if we click the little disclosure triangle, we'll see that you can open up all the stuff that's inside. So in the file properties, we've got file name, document type, application, we're working in dimensions. So it's stuff to do with the file that you're working on. Um, the IPTC core is the important information that, uh, that you might want to put in, like your name, your address, your telephone number, all that kind of stuff and keywords, so you, you can put as much or as little in it. Anything that's got a little pencil next to it is editable and you can add to it or you can change it. 
all that down we've got some extension stuff which to, if i'm being honest the, the main tool that i use are file properties and the iptc core um, we've got another one which is camera uh, exif data this is all the stuff that comes from your camera like the exposure of 500 of a second at f9 all that kind of stuff there's lots and lots of it uh, for you to look at there's gps if your camera's gps enabled there'll be something in there and there's camera raw which is all the information that if you uh, are working on a, a camera raw image and here you can see all your sliders or the um, all the numbers that go with the sliders the tint, the exposure, the highlights, the shadows, all that kind of good stuff uh, gets saved in there. And then we've got audio and video and some other good stuff. Um, but to be honest, the, the only thing that I'm really interested in is the file properties and the IPTC core. Now, IPTC Core, well, the IPTC stands for International Press and Telecommunications Consortium, which basically were the forerunners and, and set that up um, for press photographers. And then down at the bottom, we've got a, a cancel and an apply if we're putting something into the metadata panel. And then at the top of the metadata panel here, we've got our panel flyout menu. In which case we can find stuff we've got expand and collapse which is what we do with these little triangles we've got the preferences um, do we want to show the metadata placard which most times I do but if it gets in your face you can switch it off and then we've got create metadata template edit metadata template append metadata and replace metadata okay well that's a quick look at the anatomy of the metadata panel itself now your panel may look a little bit different to mine and that's because you can actually change what appears in the panel um, and we can do that if we go to the the flyout menu here and choose preferences each one of these that's ticked actually appears in here in the in the panel itself so if we don't use um, let's say video and audio very much then we can just untick them and then when I click OK they'll disappear from the panel and if I want to put them back it's just back to preferences and then put audio video and we'll have the diacom back in the in the bottom and then OK and here we are they're all back again so you can tailor this is there's things that you never use you could just switch them off and then they're not going to get in your way okay let's now have a look at viewing metadata now there are several ways that you can view metadata in your files if the metadata panel is blank like this then it means that you've got no files open so we can select one or more of the files let's select another one I've got two and we can say you can now see the metadata in all these files now you can use the the scroll bar to scroll up and down in the metadata panel and you can use these little arrows here to open up to show you all the contents. Now another method is to use file info. So we can go over to the file menu and file info. And here we've got all the categories again for metadata. So we can view metadata here. We'll just cancel that. We can use the view menu and we can show some detail. So we can go up to the view menu and we can say at the moment we're as thumbnails so you can see the thumbnails if we want we can look at it as detail and this puts some of the metadata in for us so you can see we've got some metadata here and we've got some metadata here and these are the two images that we've got selected and another method we can actually go up to the view menu again oh just a minute I'll say no we'll go up to the view menu again and we can show us a list and again as a list it shows you a little thumbnail but then there's quite a lot of information about the file like the size the type the rating the keywords date modified dimensions uncle tom cobbley and all it's it's all in there now i'll just go back to thumbnail so i'm going to go view uh, i'm going to go to view and thumbnails and lastly we've got tool tips if I hover over an image you can see that I get some tooltip information which does include quite a bit of metadata 
uh, and it does go away so you've got to keep going back if you want to look at it but here you can see date created date modified the size dimensions and any keywords and there we go again now what about editing metadata in the metadata panel well some of the metadata is not editable if there's no pencil icon here at the right hand side then you can't edit it so if i just go into say file properties you can see that none of these have a pencil icon so all this information comes through from your camera but it's not editable but yet this down here in the iptc core it is and it's more like personal information like this my name address po box email and uh, website so if i wanted to change something on here say i'll put a description in so i'm on this image here and we'll put a description in of chanya lighthouse whoops it's not a light who is it's a lies house that's better then i can click away to accept it and then down at the bottom i can click apply and that will apply that to the metadata of this one image which is not really very efficient i can do that if i've got one image i think well i'll just i'll just stick a little bit in there a little bit extra but what happens if i want to put something in all the images well for that we need a template and then I can apply it to as many images as I want so let's do that thing let's create a metadata template and we can do that two places we can go up to the tools menu and create metadata template or from the metadata panel we can choose create metadata template so I'll just give that a click and you can see at the moment there's nothing at all in it so I could fill all this in with the information that I want but if I click on an existing image it's actually got a majority of the information in that I want so I can base my template on this information so I'm going to go back to create metadata template and now I've got all this information in there and I can just create what I want and this is going to go in every image that I apply it to so obviously a description i don't want chan chan your lighthouse in there because not all of my images are going to have chan your lighthouse on so i'm going to delete that and then what i need to do is put a tick in any pieces of information that i want to appear in this uh, template um, so i can well what i'll do i'll just click on iptc core and it puts the lot in but you can be, be selective if you want and, and not have if you didn't want a description or a headline you could just untick them important pieces down at the bottom with the copyright notice i want it to, to say uh, copyright cambridge photography i want my status to be copyrighted there's some options public domain or unknown i'll stick mine to copyrighted and then rights usage terms or rights reserved um there's a mass more stuff in there but I, I don't really need it this is the important stuff for me as a photographer just that that is embedded in each of my images now if i click save i'll just save that information into one image what i need to do is to is to name it so let's call this my basic template and then i'll click save and now if i go back to me fly out menu we can see that we've got create metadata template which we've just done but if i want to replace metadata you see now that i've got a little fly out menu and i've got one that i use as my 2021 i've got one i use for my training and i've got the basic template which is the one we've just created okay so which images do i want to apply this basic template to well let's go to the first one we'll shift click on the last one and you can see it says multiple values in here so it's going to apply this metadata template to all the images so if i go back and do replace metadata and then i'll do basic template and give it a sec and that updates with everything so i can now click on that one and you'll see that i've got all that basic information that's now in each of those images which is fabulous all the editable stuff 
Now we have got a couple of options when it comes to metadata templates. We've got edit metadata template. So if we've actually just made a little mistake, we can go back in and edit any of the templates that we've made. We can append metadata. And what this is, if you've got a couple of empty fields that you suddenly want to update, say, then you can append metadata. And what this will do, it, it will apply the template metadata where no metadata value or property currently exists in the file. So if you've got a blank uh, thing and you just want to update it, then you can append the metadata and it'll ignore everything else and leave it where it is. And it will just update the fields that you put in. Now here we've got replace metadata. And replace metadata completely replaces any existing metadata with the metadata in the template. Well, that's it for this video. How to view metadata and add metadata to multiple images using a metadata template. I'll see you in the very next video. Bye for now.